Hot dogs may just be the quintessential kid food. But that doesn't mean you can't dress them up. And today we're checking out Hot G Dog in Andersonville, who will learn how to dress them up from the very best. Oh, don't forget the fries. Octavio, I don't think it'd be fair to even start talking about how great Hot G Dog is without referencing the fact that you are continuing on a legacy here in Chicago, right? My father used to work with uh, hot dogs. Encased? You have no idea who this man is. I see what he did there. We learned a lot from Doug, and I think we just bring something different to the table. It's not just the regular Chicago dog or Polish dog. We're coming out here with basically gourmet dogs. <laughs> I know that they've got boar. I know they have like a bison. Uh, I got a gator earlier. If you get a Chicago dog, New York dog, a Guinness Brock, best dogs in the city. So you guys are taking everyone's favorite childhood snack, the hot dog, mm -hmm. and elevating it. And your most popular one is? Uh, it'll be the duck sausage with foie gras and uh, truffle aioli. Well, there's the duck sausage, and then I don't know what they put on it, but it's amazing. Fuck around a hot dog. Okay. <laughs> Double fat kid happiness. <laughs> That's kind of what it is, though, right? Yeah, it's total fat kid happiness. That's the hot dog grown up. Pretty it's much. It's been to college, it's married with kids, but not only that, you're also pairing it with a uh, grown up version of fries as well. Yeah, we have some duck fat fries. That's exactly what Steven told us. You guys have the best duck fat fries in town. We usually serve those Friday through Sunday, and today we're making an exception for you guys on Monday. And for Steven as well, an exception for, for both of well. us. <laughs> Exceptions or not, you can't eat until you cook. And Hot G Dog's famous foie gras dog starts with a very special sausage. <laughs> A duck sausage. Yeah. This is the base, this is where everything begins. What's in there apart from duck? A little bit of pork and then uh, some, actually some truffle in there as well. And the duck goes. On the grill, so. No, it goes. <laughs> quack. Oh. And the pig goes. Boink, I guess. And the truffle goes. Does that make it any noise? It doesn't make any yeah, noise. Yeah, right. <laughs> After a few minutes on the grill, our duck sausage finds its home in a steamy bun and it's time to load her up. Grab the truffle aioli right there and put it all over the dog. We're gonna shake it a little bit. I like it when it farts. Ah, uh, okay. Now you're gonna grab the foie gras. Oh, and just load it up? Yep, there you go. And right. now uh, you grab some sea salt and just sprinkle it on top. There you go, that's your foie gras dog. You know what we need with this? Some duck fat fries. That's your job. And the fries say? Quack. Just quack for everything uh, now, okay. apparently. <laughs> I promise I'm not gonna ask you to make any more animal noises. Okay, Okay. That's good. This is what we're, we're all about, this, this is why we're here. The foie gras dog. Clink it. That's everything I love about a kid snack, fully grown up. It's a beautiful dedication to what Chicago does best. And then to pair it. Yeah, it got some duck fat fries. The flavor that soaks in to the fries from that duck fat. This right here. <laughs> is food coma material. It's decadent, it's rich, but it's perfection. And the Elliot goes, mmm. 